In front of me is a TR89 uh, that I purchased off eBay for four dollars. I paid four dollar and ninety cents for shipping, so the total came up to be a little less than ten dollars. All right, and uh, it was listed as not working, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at it and see if I can fix it. Oh boy, oh boy, this was uh, really well packed, I must say. So this is the unit itself. And this guy literally had this the wrong way. <laughs> it was too stuck in it. This is how you put it normally. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's examine the condition. So this seems to be in a really good condition for an item that is uh, for part. Obviously, it's gonna have few scratches from use, but uh, it's an overall great, great ship. This might be uh, one of the best used calculator I spend my money on. But I can see some liquid damage. Not, I wouldn't say damage, but I can definitely see some acid in this uh, battery compartment. So I am going to take this apart immediately. But before I'm gonna go ahead and test and see if uh, if it comes on. I can't quite remember what the description said, but uh, uh, it was listed for parts, and uh, yeah, I like to take my chances. So, uh, well, I don't know what happened there. Uh, I can't quite remember. I believe the description said that uh, he tried uh, uh, a set of battery but the battery wouldn't work and it could just be maybe you need a you need a new batteries I think that's what the description said so I guess I don't really have to do anything well I gotta say this has to be uh, one of the best deal I've had on a calculator in a while our were revision 2 and it is running the software uh, 205 so there is one more software that came out after 205 the latest software is should be 209 I believe hardware revision 2 which is the one you want because that's the one that has uh, the clock feature and I don't see the clock here and part of the reason why this doesn't have clock is because of the firmware. I believe you only have access to firmware, I mean, uh, to the clock with a firmware uh, 209. So I'm going to have to do a firmware update. I'm going to stop this and adjust my window. Uh, let's make this a little faster, man. <laughs> so we can be out of here. Okay. Nice. All right. It's not really too bad, but as you can see, if you look really closely, you can see some liquid here. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I'm also going to examine this side right here. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to take this board out just to make sure uh, there's nothing on the other side. looks clean so I'm just gonna put this back this thing is uh, was pretty much in perfect condition so I'm gonna put this this way actually this is easier 